Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how to create a testimonial section using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is the effect we're going to be creating. We have a title, a horizontal line right here, this box, this image, the name and some text. And uh, we have this uh, nice effect right here that we're going to implement using something called uh, the owl carousel. Before we get started, if you are new here, on this channel I post new videos regularly that will help you become a better web developer so you can make more money and live a better life. If you want to learn how to do that, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also make sure to click the bell notification icon and select all so that you will uh, be notified every time I upload a new video. Now I'm going to be providing uh, a link to some resources in the description like this background image and uh, these images right here of the people. So we'll go ahead and grab that and uh, code along with me. But with that being said, let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it uh, in my text editor which in my case is uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create an index.html file a style.css and uh, I'm gonna create a folder called images and inside here I'm gonna take this and uh, paste these images uh, right here let me delete this okay and now let's start with the structure Actually, let's uh, go to Owl Carousel, search Owl Carousel, click here, and I want you to download this. I already have it downloaded, and uh, as you can see, it's right here. I'm going to cut this and paste it in my main folder. Okay, and we'll deal with that a little bit later, but so that we have all the resources. Okay, I'm going to create a structure, a basic structure change the title to a contact section um, I'm gonna link the style sheet so link style.css and let's start with the structure with the markup so I'm gonna create a section with the idea of testimonials inside here a div with a class of container Inside the container, I'm going to put an H2 and say testimonials. Below the H2, another div with a class of, uh, um, let's say, owl-carousel uh, and another class owl-theme. We're going to need this. And uh, inside here, another div with a class of uh, testimonial testimonials dash box and the class of item okay now inside here I'm gonna create another div with a class of testimonial testimonial dash photo and uh, inside here I'm gonna put an IMG go to images and select testimonials dash one dot PNG and for alt say client photo now get out of the div with a class of testimonial photo I'm gonna put an h3 and say Tyler Morris and uh, a paragraph and say lorem 50 I'm gonna wrap the text here okay good and uh, this should be it and I'm gonna copy this uh, this whole uh, testimonial box so select this and uh, copy it two more times for the second one I'm going to change this to two and uh, change the name to let's say uh, what was it uh, Jessica Thompson and for the third one change this testimonials-3.png and for the name I'm going to say uh, Andrew Michaels okay let's open this in the browser as you can see that's uh, how it looks so far and uh, this is it uh, for the markup now I'm gonna go uh, to the style.css and first of all I need to go to fonts.google.com 
and uh, search for uh, railway select it and I'm gonna choose the regular one so 400 and the bold one so 700 uh, embed import copy this uh, close this and paste it in the style CSS on the first line okay good now we're gonna start with some general styling so asterisk to select uh, everything and say margin 0 padding 0 box sizing border box and uh, for the HTML I'm gonna say font size 10 pixels select the body and say uh, font family uh, railway sans serif let's create a container class so that container and say max width 1100 pixels uh, margin 0 auto and padding uh, 0 on top and bottom 3 RAM on left and right okay good okay so there we have it so far so good now uh, let's start so let me scroll a little bit I'm gonna say um, hashtag testimonials and use a background URL uh, images testimonials dash background dot PNG background repeat no repeat and the uh, height 100 VH okay good now let's uh, work on the H2 so testimonials H2 I'm gonna say color FFF uh, font size 3.6 RAM font weight 400 um, text align center and the uh, padding top 6 RAM okay good now let's take care of that uh, orange horizontal line and uh, for that I'm gonna use the pseudo selector after so testimonials h2 column column after uh, say content leave it empty uh, display block uh, margin 0 auto margin top 1.5 RAM uh, with 50 pixels background uh, FF 9e44 and the uh, height 3 pixels okay now let's start uh, working on the testimonials boxes so let me scroll a bit okay I'm gonna say uh, testimonials um, dot container dot uh, testimonials dash box and uh, let's see I'm gonna give it a position of relative I'm gonna set the Z index to um, 1 max width 800 pixels uh, min height 380 pixels and the uh, margin 20 RAM auto 0 auto okay good and we're gonna take care of that now let's uh, copy this and use the pseudo selector before I'm gonna say content leave it empty um, position absolute um, width 100% height 100% background use that color so FF9E44 I'm gonna say opacity uh, 0 0.5 Z index minus 1 and the uh, border dash radius 10 pixels okay good hmm. um, 
now let's move on and uh, paste it one more time and say that testimonial dash photo I'm gonna say position absolute uh, top minus 70 pixels left 50% transform translate X minus 50% as you can see the image is where it should be now let's uh, let's paste it again and say h3 and I'm gonna say color FFF for white uh, font size uh, 2.4 rem font weight 400 text align center padding top 10 rem margin bottom margin bottom 3 rem letter spacing 3 pixels okay and uh, let's copy this let's paste it again and say P I'm gonna say color FFF uh, font size 1.8 rem line height 3.5 rem uh, width 80 80% <clears throat> uh, margin auto uh, text align center padding bottom 3.5 rem okay so uh, this should be it now let's take care of that uh, carousel so we already have the file the folder I'm gonna go here up top and uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the link again and I'm gonna say uh, all carousel uh, dist and uh, assets and uh, owl.carousel.css and uh, copy this and change the file to let's say owl.tim dot default dot min dot css and uh, go right to the bottom and right above the body I'm gonna need the the jQuery 2 so I'm gonna say jQuery CDN go to go here uh, I'm gonna see, pick the minified version uh, copy this uh, paste it uh, right here right above the closing tag of the body element and uh, I'm gonna say script source all carousel I'm gonna go to docs assets and uh, vendors and jQuery dot min dot js and uh, copy this and change this uh, go to dist and uh, all that uh, carousel.js we have one more script we need to take care of uh, script and inside here we need a little bit of code I'm gonna say dollar sign uh, dot owl dash carousel um, dot owl carousel uh, brackets uh, okay loop true margin 10 nav true uh, responsive I'm gonna say uh, zero items one and uh, that should do it so let's check it out as you can see now we have a nice uh, carousel and we can uh, uh, loop through them so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything to say make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video take care